Right, thank you, Mark. Ken, our team, live team coverage now continues right now with Mark Thompson, live at the scene of where this craziness all began, the bank on Four Mile and Alpine. So, Mark, what are you learning there? Well, Brett, police are still trying to piece everything together, uh, given the fact that there are several scenes in this incident. We are, again, at the Comerica Bank off of Four Mile and Alpine. Police were called to this bank robbery here around 11 o'clock. Some scary moments for bank employees here inside the bank as the suspect, we were told, herded them into a bank vault during the robbery before making a rather unusual getaway. We spoke with Kent County Sheriff's officials just a short time ago. Again, they are trying to piece together the information from these uh, several scenes that have taken place in this incident. Here's what he had to say a short time ago. The report came out of a robbery at the bank here, and uh, the officers were responding here, uh, several of us. Uh, the information came out that uh, people were locked up or tied up. Uh, I don't have, I haven't spoke to them yet, so I don't know the specific details with that information. But then uh, the uh, subject fled the bank, crossed the street on a bicycle, and as several of our officers were responding, it changed from, it switched from this bicycle apparently to a vehicle. And, uh, I, and this is based on what I'm monitoring on radio traffic. Uh, we end up with a lengthy pursuit involving a truck, spike strips put out several locations, and uh, they apprehended uh, whoever was in that uh, truck down downtown Grand Rapids, or south of downtown Grand Rapids. And uh, that sheriff's official tells us that no one was hurt in this incident. That's a good thing. Now, they also say that there was only one customer inside the bank. Uh, that's what we can gather at this point. Now, we did see that man uh, walking around here uh, as police were doing their investigation. He didn't want to go on camera. He was holding a small child with him. We're not sure if uh, that child was with him in the bank at the time. But he appeared to be OK. But of course, he was a little shaken up, obviously, after the incidents that unfolded here this morning. Reporting live, Mark Thompson, 24-Hour News Day.